I was going to spend the whole of my 10 minute slot talking about neutrinos uh, not going faster than the speed of light and how I promised to eat my underpants if, uh, if it was proved to be the case. Uh, but I thought actually that's old hat. So I'm going to say something about that, get it out of the way quickly. Then I'm going to talk about my favourite brain teaser. I've just written a book on paradoxes in science and my favourite paradox is something called the Monty Hall Paradox the game show paradox. I won't go through the details about what it is, otherwise I'll be giving you my talk. But the Monty Hall paradox is one of those, you know, plays with your mind sort of ideas, and yet the explanation is quite, quite simple. It's very delicious. Last year was the first time I appeared on, on, on the show, um, and I, for the previous few years that it's been running, I've been looking with not inconsiderable envy at my fellow scientists who've been invited to take part and I hadn't been invited and so finally I was very happy to take part last year and I think you know I, I jumped at the chance again this year. If I were completely unrestricted by budget and, uh, and politics what experiment would I design? Well I think I would have liked to have built a particle accelerator that was even bigger than the Large Hadron Collider. The superconducting supercollider, which was going to be built in Texas in the 90s, was shelved. Um, and I think that would have certainly discovered any new particles that, we, that might have been lurking out there a lot sooner than we had now. So unfortunately, it didn't happen. I still think there's, there's room for it, if only we had unlimited budget. Scientific discovery or invention that I'd like to see uninvented, well, I guess the atom bomb. Um, you know, my, my, I'm a nuclear physicist, and so uh, I know all those heroes from the 20s, 30s, and 40s, not, obviously not personally, but you know, I know of their work and their discoveries, and the fact that they were drawn in with what they perceived to be the, the best of intentions into the Manhattan Project at Los Alamos. Um, and then the fact that you know, politics took over and the bombs were dropped even though they didn't need to be in order to, to force Japan to surrender. If I could uninvent the building of the atom bomb, I think the world would be a different place.